Have you ever wondered how we close the skin at the end of a cesarean section? Well, one of the most common methods is called a subcuticular suture. So instead of placing stitches that you can see on the surface, the thread is weaving just underneath the skin edges, bringing them together neatly. We do usually use a straight needle for this in obstetrics, but you can use a curved needle like you see here. And the benefit of this type of stitch is that it often gives a smoother cosmetic result with less visible scarring. So we typically use absorbable sutures, which means that the stitches dissolve on their own as the wound heals, you don't need to have it removed. Non-absorbable sutures can also be used, but they're more rarely used nowadays. In some cases, we may choose them because wound healing may be a concern, for example, if you have keloid scars or if you've got a particularly high BMI. Some people also wonder what happens to the knot. Well, at the end of the stitch line, we aim to bury the knot beneath your skin so that it's not visible from the outside and so that it doesn't irritate you when you're moving around. So while from the surface, it looks like the wound has simply closed itself. Alternatively, a bead can be left on either end, which is what allows a removable stitch to be held and then cut and removed. If you've got any rogue bits of your stitch material hanging from an absorbable stitch, it usually separates and just falls off by itself as part of the, a part of the suture gets absorbed. And the wound itself should be pretty well sealed within about a week or two, but full wound healing after any type of skin incision and remodeling takes up to a year. Let me know what type of stitch you had and let me know if you've got any questions about C-section wounds.